What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of 9 to 4 Fishing. I'm your host Alex. Right now we are waiting on Nick. It's about 10.20. Um, we're going out to Rattlesnake Island near St. Augustine to do some uh, saltwater fishing again. Hopefully it turns out better than the last two times you guys saw my previous video. And uh, before we get out there, I just wanted to ask you guys, if you haven't followed my 9 to 4 Fishing Facebook page yet, go follow it. I'll link it right here. Go follow it. Uh, it's, it's not just about promoting my channel. It's If you're in the 9 to 4 area, I want it to become a collection and a place where people can post stuff, they can post spots, techniques, and just have a good time. Because I notice we don't really have like a like a fishing community that I've seen or one that I really, I don't know, I, I just don't like any of the ones that I've seen. So go do that one. Hopefully we can all get involved in that and have a good time. But right now let's wait on Nick. All right, so we're sitting at a red light, right? And Nick has a Subaru. We're sitting at a red light and this guy pulls up next to us and he's got a Subaru too. And the guy pulls up and he's just... I like your car. Just like that, like low voice, like he was hitting on us on a club. Yep. Also, you're probably shaking right now because of because of uh, Nick's engine. Yep. Sick. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Nick. Do this. Yeah, so that's our drinks. We got everything. You want to snack up you go out? Sunscreen. Let me adjust that angle a little bit. Angle the dangle. All right. I think I'm gonna bring this one with me. You're just gonna use shrimp, or? Yeah. Yeah, it's about to get real bad considering you're about to walk over all those oysters. I'm gonna guess pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, there we go. Definitely have something. Let's see what we got here. And we've got a sailfin catfish. Gotta watch out for the barbs on these guys. Yeah! There we go, a little self and catfish action for you guys. And in case you're wondering why they're called sail fin, because of that number right there. No, actually, we don't know. I don't think this is one because sail fins usually, I think, have like this long trailing thing afterwards. So we're gonna let this guy go. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. It's a big one. I hooked into a big one. It's a big stingray. No, it's fighting too much for a stingray. Mm. Oh my god. Flounder? No, it's a big old fish, dude. Look, it's look, you can see it. Come on. I have bet on a flounder. It looks pretty flat. Oh, yeah, it looks like a flounder. Whatever it is, it's That's big. What I right there. This is 904 fishing. That's a big fish. That looks like no, a dude, that's a sheephead. That's a fat old sheephead. Oh my god! Damn, son. That's yeah. We're eating that. Holy hell! Can I lip him? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'd do it anyway. Woo! Damn, son. God bless. Look at that. Damn. Woo! Is in my face. God, that's that's awesome. Holy shit. And that was on that little bottom one out hook. Damn. I'm about to cast way out. Where were you casting? Like right off the drop. Dude, hell yeah. Are you hyped? So hyped. All right, I think I've got a big old black drum and three pin fish and then whatever that other thing is. I don't know, honestly. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Alright, I'm gonna put on 
on some more sunscreen. We're going to wait on Nick to get back, and then I'll show you guys what those fish are. All right, so this is one of the pinfish that apparently is dead. Let me cut that so, one up, actually. Yeah, cut that one up. Uh, I'm trying to find the other ones. With a nice black drum. Thought it was a sheep's head. It's actually a black drum. Here's the other pinfish. Nice yellow on his fin there. Oops. That guy's rather lively. Well, I hooked up into something here. Oh, whitey, nice. That's good eating right there. Throw him in the bucket. All right, and this was the other fish that I couldn't find. Look at those teeth. Can you guys see those? That's insane. I don't know what kind of fish this is, so if anybody could tell me, I would appreciate it. Yep. About the same size as mine. That's a sailfin right there. No, no, no. Flathead. No, no, that, yeah, that's a sailfin by the... This is the uh, fourth or fifth species of the day. Sailfin catfish, pretty cool. Yeah, this is definitely a sailfin. The other ones I caught were flatheads. So we're gonna let this guy go here, and he'll uh, he'll be on his way. Okay, there he goes. So Nick just found, just caught a uh, sea robin. Look at that, dude. Look at those legs. That's that's pretty gnarly. I guess fish do have feet. Quiet eel. Uh, that's 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 pretty gnarly, dude. I don't know how you're gonna 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 unhook that. So I'm trying there. not to get poked by them gnarly spikes. Oh yeah, look at that. See, they use the fins like that. They stick them out and they suction to the bottom. That's pretty sweet. It's, pretty it's really rough feeling too. Oh yeah, it's all armored. I think it has teeth as well. Um, no, actually. So I'm just gonna just gonna lip them. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go under the wings. Probably a good call. And then definitely watch out for the sides because look at that. It's pretty gnarly. Nice looking fish. Dude, I'm just really trying hard not to get it. Like you have no leverage either getting this hook out. So you kind of just got to like wiggle it. <clears throat> yeah, let's let him so, go. Still got my shrimp. Nice. Do you have teeth? Yep. What's that? We filleted the black drum. We? Oui. No, we're not restarting. Oh, <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, this is the one fillet of the black drum that I have here. It looks like you put butter, we'll show lemon you what pepper. We put. Hold on, put lemon pepper, Tony's, tones, Tony's. <laughs> tones, Tony's black pepper, Old Bay, Old Bay seasoning, and a little bit of Badia. Adobo. Adobo. I'll go fuck out your cell phone. Okay. Wow. And some butter. butter. Alright, we're just gonna wrap that bad boy up. Wrap this up. You need... Make sure you get straight edges. Just like you're in geometry. High school. And fold it up. And then Make sure it's nice and sealed so you don't let out any of the juices or repress memories. And <laughs> you're good to go. All right, next we're going to work with the, where is it? The whiting. So we've got my filet, Nick's filet, and the whiting, 400 degrees. We're going to throw them in here for about 20, 25 minutes and check on them in just a little while.
All right, Nick, let's check the fish. Okay. Yeah, it's in there. God bless oh, America. Yeah. How's that smell, Nick? Well, my eyebrows are gone, so that's a good thing. They smell so Wow. Oh, wow. That smells really good. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to play Rock'em Sock'em. Okay. Alright. Let's check on these. Oh, wow. Absolutely this is the whiting here oh wow this is the one nick did they messed up these hold on well, like you. Ooh, that's gonna be that smells you fantastic can... we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to try this wow. it's gonna be good all right Let's just, let's go for it now. Hold on, here's my, here's, why do we have seven forks? In case somebody breaks in and wants that fish. Are you right? Cheers. No. From us to you. Oh man, that's good. That's really good, it's clean tasting. That's so clean. Let me just dab. Did you get that from our... I would too. <laughs> no way. Alright, well, this was good. We gotta clean this up and get to bed. We got work tomorrow, so thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of 904 Fishing. If you guys like this, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. What? I'm choking over here. <laughs> Eyes watering. Fantastic. See you guys next time.